Alright guys, Ivan here with another video covering Armor Classic 2019 and as far as Classic Division goes, pre-judging was done, finals were finished and we got our award so we can see who actually won, who placed where and this is our top 6, uh, Wesley Vixers did not make it unfortunately and yeah, as you already may know, uh, the winner of this contest was George Peterson. And no, it wasn't Steve Lorius. What is my take on it? Honestly, I was I was pretty sure that's how it's gonna be. I was really cheering for Steve. I really hope he's gonna win it. Because this, this contest was sending us a message. It sent us a message. And the message goes, classic physique division has nothing to do with those quote-unquote classic lines or structure. What classic is, is basically certain weight for certain height and a bit longer trunks. That's it, that's it. Even in this division, they are again looking for muscle maturity, for conditioning and for size. As much muscle as you can pack on your frame and that's it, that's it. So you only have a weight cap and pretty much the same thing as bodybuilding. And I don't like this, guys. I mean, I'm not, I mean, you know, having that certain weight cap is probably going to prevent you from becoming too big and for that reason blowing up your waistline. So from that standpoint, that's pretty good, sure. But they are not looking for shape for, and not, not only for shape, the thing that I'm thinking about is uh, proportions, you know, you need to, you need to take those into consideration. What are the proportions of George Peterson? I mean, look at his legs compared to Steve Lorius. Compare his uh, waist, compare his shoulders and basically the flow of his physique. There is nothing classic about George. He just has the thick muscle, you know, the, the muscle maturity. He's an older guy. He has development in the back region and all that stuff. So he's a great bodybuilder. No doubt about that. He's a great bodybuilder, amazing bodybuilder. But I was really hoping that classic is gonna be something different, you know. I mean, I was hoping they're gonna go for lines. But look at Steve Lorius. This is beautiful. This is amazing. This is really what we're asking for. And still he does not win. I'm really disappointed in the judging system. It's just not what I thought it would be. But it was a great lineup. It was really a good lineup. Um, you had, uh, as I said, Courage of Para taking third and Keon taking fourth. And these two other guys were 5 and 6, I don't even know their names, and they're not looking classic at all. This guy on the right is just a straight bodybuilder. He should go to bodybuilding. I mean, I don't care how much does he weigh. He can go to bodybuilding and be a great bodybuilding competitor. I don't know what the hell is he doing here. In my opinion, considering the fact that this is classic, classic physique, not bodybuilding, I would give 5th place to Jason Love, if that's how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure. He is, I really didn't know about him before, but he looks amazing and I just follow him on social media. Actually, just this very second, I just pressed the follow button. <laughs> and yeah, I can see that he looks amazing. He had amazing balance, proportions, uh, everything was on point. Just the way Classic Physique should be looking like in my eyes, in my opinion. And the sixth place I would give to Wesley Vissers. Even though he wasn't as conditioned, he has the lines. He has the structure. I mean, he's looking like Arnold himself. I mean, I don't know how it is in other countries, but in my country we have classic bodybuilding category. And that's pretty much the same thing as bodybuilding, the same trunks, the same, almost the same posing. Everything is pretty much the same. You can weight only a certain amount of weight compared to your height. And that's classic bodybuilding. But classic physique, we were thinking that that's going to be something different, you know. That they're going to look for those lines from the classic era, the golden era. Because everybody is a huge fan of that era. Everybody wants to see that again. You know, I, 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 me too, me too. I mean, I love bodybuilding. I'm, I'm a bigger fan of bodybuilding than I am of classic, to be honest. But I also love classic. And I'm really disappointed with these results. But I can say that it was a pretty exciting competition. We had a bunch of really, really good competitors. Everybody was in great conditioning and shape. Everything was really good. The only thing that I obviously didn't like that much was judging criteria. The judges did not go for classic lines, for proportions, for shape, you know. That was something that we all expected to see, but we didn't. And the closest thing that we get to that golden era, we're not gonna get golden era, probably never again. It's golden era for a reason. But the closest thing that we get is Steve Lorius, for example. Also guys like Wesley Vissers, but I can understand why Wesley didn't place higher. It's because of conditioning. 
You know, if you can't show the details in the muscle, you cannot be better than somebody else who has better conditioning. And uh, Steve, I think his conditioning was almost as good as that of George Peterson. And he had better lines, better proportions, better structure. So the only thing that I don't like about his competition is the end result, the winner. I don't like the winner. Everything else was amazing. I just wanted to see someone with amazing proportions like Steve and also great balance, great symmetry, great conditioning as well and development win it. And honestly, I have to believe that speaking publicly like this, making YouTube videos can have some effect on the judging criteria. I really hope so. And by commenting on videos like this, by giving your voice out there, you can really change something. You can have a part, a role in this era of bodybuilding. And I would really like to see some kind of changes in terms of seeing more golden era classical physics, better proportions, better lines, better symmetry, and that type of things. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, like the video. If you have something to say, please say it in the comment section below. I would really like to see your thoughts and I will reply to every single comment of yours. So thank you very much once again and see you in the next couple of videos. All the best. Bye bye.